look, I am sitting in a place called Morena, uh, a small village called Jora, where the, where the mass surrender of decades took place back in 1972. 600, 654 dreaded decades put, put down their arms in front of um, Mahatma Gandhi's photographs in this village. So it's very historical. Uh, from a from a point of view of uh, moving from violence to non-violence, see, I call it threefold approach to creating a non-violent society, and I am placing it in front of you. Every government should think about a peace ministry. If you can have a a defense ministry, which is generally used for war, and uh, if you can have a ministry for police that is called home ministry, why can't we have a ministry for peace. See, how do you expect police and army will bring sustainable, permanent peace? Peace need to be cultivated through various other efforts, not by using police and force. So this notion that wherever there is unrest, let us send police and they will bring peace. We need to get out of it and then start working on a, a ministry for peace, but so these are three suggestions for the state. One, use non-violent lens to measure all your developmental activities. Two, make your officials to learn how to dialogue with people who are angry and agitating. Third, initiate process so that you have a peace ministry at the state level and the national level so that <laughs> the minister and his team or her team can start planning about building peace in the society. So this is the first fold. I say threefold, it's the first fold. The second fold is about educational system itself. See, from an educational system of the kind that we are running now, uh, expecting a peaceful society is not going to work. Let us admit that this education will not take us to a peaceful society. This is a competition-based educational system, job-centric, job-seeking, whether it is developmental studies, economic studies, governance studies, journalism, mass communication studies, or legal studies, I think people need to have an understanding of how do you use that subject non-violently. Otherwise, we will ultimately create a very, very violent society and see how we make education a tool, a non-violent tool, for transforming the world. So the first one was the governance itself. The second one is on education. I have one more argument before I stop. And that is about urbanization. This is the third, third fold, you know, the way cities are created. They are so unkind, so ugly. I mean, I have traveled through Latin American countries. I have traveled through African countries. I'm traveling through Asian countries and I see you have um, taken the resources of the village, you have destroyed the water resources and other resources of the village, and you have finally constructed an ugly, ugly city, which is not useful for anybody. Uh, if you look at a city, take example of Bombay or Delhi or Calcutta, uh, is it women friendly? No, women cannot uh, really deal in those cities, that situation. Is it poor friendly? Poor people are there to serve the rich. But then if there is a heavy rain, there is no shelter for these people to sit down and wait. Uh, there is no place for pedestrians. There is no place for people on bicycle. This is absolutely not poor friendly. Is it old age friendly? It is not old age friendly. Even young people find it so difficult to cross roads. How do you expect old people to cross roads? So physically challenged people, poor people, women, <coughs> old age, everyone finds these cities very ugly, very unkind to them. So if you want to create cities, it needs a different kind of planning, different kind of approach. One, it should not destroy the villages and take the resources of the village and create cities. Second, if at all you create a city that should be friendly to, friendly to everybody. I think the, the, the governance system is so violent. The educational system is so violent. The, the urbanization has become so violent. And that indirect violence of excluding people is basically leading to direct violence when people take gun 
and become decades robbers that is the end result of the way we have constructed this society as it is today we need to seriously visit the the, the kind of uh, uh, system that we have developed during the last many years and i hope uh, we will continue to discuss and debate about it and uh, find solutions, if not global level, at least at a smaller level, micro level, we should start finding solutions to this problem. That is the only way I see that we can move ahead in terms of creating a peaceful, non-violent society.